Working on client work is great until the client comes back and says, can you give me that video in six different sizes? Today, I'm gonna to share with you a way to make that process painless. Okay, what I've got here is a social sizes template. I've created this for myself and I set my After Effects up so that every time I open it, it's going to open this project file. Now, the way that you do that is you're gonna to go to Edit, Preferences, New Project, and once this window pops up, you'll see in here that you can choose whether or not you want it to open a file by clicking this checkbox. I checked it, and then if you click this button, you can browse to your project template. I browse to this file, which I call the Social Sizes Template. If you have a better name, and I'm sure you do, please leave it in the comments below because I like fun names and this one isn't that fun. Uh, so then once I've done that, I hit OK. And every time I start up After Effects, this file is gonna open. Now, the way this file is set up is that there are three different export files. You could make as many as you want for as many different sizes as you want. I've got a 1080 by 1350, a 1080 by 1920, and a 1920 by 1080. You could easily make a 1080 by 1080 the same way. Um, in fact, let's do that just so that we know how to do that. I'm gonna say composition, new composition. Let's call it 10. 80 by 1080 and we will name it the same in here. We're gonna keep 24 frames per second. Okay, that all looks good. And now in my 1080 by 1080 comp, I can drag in this socialgraphics.asmb file, ASMB for assembly. Now there's nothing in it, so nothing showing up. But now that you'll see, we've got this template Let's just clean this up, hit the N key, Control Shift X to make that comp short. Okay, now we've got it set up so we've even got a 1080 by 1080 export. All four of these export files are looking at this assembly file. Now, if we go in here, we've got some guide layers. This first one just grays out those never seen areas, right? Those are the corners you don't have to worry about. And then we've got one for each of the areas, right? 1080 by 1350 safe area. We've got the 1080 by 1920 safe area and the 1920 by 1080. So looking at this, we can know that if our, all of our animation is put in here, all our images are put in there, we know they need to be as big as this outer square, right? And anything that's really important should be within this inner square, right? Because that kind of inner square is gonna be seen at all the sizes. Okay, let's take a look at this template in action. If you like this template, you can download it. Check out the link in the description below. Okay, this template is the same template that I used for the Adobe Post That Pop workshop that we did earlier this year. So what I did is I created all of this animation in that assembly template, right? You'll see that there's a sun that rises and it spins, there's some stars that move around and some flowers, and that's all pretty great, right? But if you take a look at that template, you can see that in that little square post, we're only gonna see the middle and that's okay because we designed it in this template and we added extra flowers over here for the horizontal and down here for the vertical and designed it in such a way that it's gonna look good at all those sizes with one set of animation. So this animation's got, oh, looks like 32 layers. That's 32 layers that we can use for every single export size. And now if we go into this, we can see that the 1350, we have added to that, we've right, right, our social graphics animation, a assembly file is right here. We added a frame custom to this size. We used a text comp. Again, you can see that here, this text groovy. This text groovy comp is used in every single size and it's just resized a little bit because we wanted to maximize how big that text could be given the space available for this export. And then a couple of adjustment layers. So you can see I did not have to redo those 32 layers of animation in that assembly template. And the same goes for each of these, right? Again, custom frame, slightly different text placement, and that social graphics template. You can even see if you zoom out that the whole template is there, right? It's a lot larger than what we're exporting, but that's okay, we made it that way. And again, you can see the horizontal, same thing. Everything is there, but we only had to do that animation once. So if you work in this manner from the start, 
when the client comes back to you later and says, hey, by the way, could you just export that also at the vertical size or also at that other funky size? You don't really have to do any work more than just going in and making sure that you've repositioned your text, any frames, any adjustment layers, and the bulk of your animation is already done. If you enjoyed this tip, head over to schoolemotion.com and sign up for our free level up course where you can learn all sorts of tips, tricks, and ideas for how to take your career to the next level. Thank you.